Here is a lift surge around the MRT Blue Line stations. Now it's divided into sections, and the first section is the original section from 2004. And the lift here are Mitsubishi GPQ lift with some very nice vinyl resistant buttons, which adds a lot of character to the lift all around the MRT Blue Line system. And now to some weird and some random lifts, such as at Samyan Station on the northwestern exit. I'm not gonna take it because it's a Japanese Mitsubishi. It's a very small and low capacity lift. Now to the Taupin Extension, which is opened in 2016. The lifts here are Mitsubishi LNSA, which has some custom buttons. These lifts have been on the news twice, the worst time being that a wheelchair person wants to use the lift which is crowded even though the sign says clearly this is mainly for wheelchairs and nobody does that which is a bad manner in Thai. And now to the West Extension which is opened in 2019 and 2020. The main lifts are Thyssenkrupp lifts here. Ooh, lift the platform, another Thyssenkrupp lift. Oh, there's music here. So I got onto the train and headed towards the eastern side of the extension, where stations are underground. And some stations use Thyssenkrupp, some stations use cones, such as at Next station, White Makon. White Station has some Coney Monospace lifts up to the platform, up to the concourse level. Sadly, there's no direction signage in the lift. This is the lower platform, this goes to Laksong, the upper platform goes to Taobun. That indicator is weird. And here's the MX20 Ecodis motor. So that's all of the parts of the MRT Blue Line system lift. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel and also this channel as well. I think the MRT Blue Line is sort of a controversial stuff because the signage problem is there's a very big problem because now Wayfinding Bank.